Hi there, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and I thought today I would share with you a gift that I purchased for my mum for Christmas which I thought is actually something that you guys might know about but if you didn't you might be interested in because it's actually a journaling bible which I will show you obviously in more detail in a minute but basically um, it's a bible where you have space at the side that you can actually write notes and journal on but it also comes with sections and images that you can colour in so this so particular one is the Inspire um, bible now there are lots of different ones I chose this one because I thought the look of it was very attractive I chose it because of the I was going to say brand, I don't really mean brand, but the type of Bible it is, it's NLT. So whatever kind of um, writing that you like to read, the style of that, then that's probably one available for you. But the other thing that I picked this for was because the actual images were quite a lot of text that you colour in, but also some images as well. So it was a nice, it wasn't too complicated to colour. So it's for my mum, so she's not an experienced colourist, shall we say. So I thought that this would just be appropriate. I also bought her some Faber-Castell Polychroma pencils so that that would work on this. So I would definitely recommend using pencils in these Bibles. I think that Marcus will definitely go through the pages on any of them from what I've seen um, across the board on videos that I've seen elsewhere. So this particular one is the kind of regular edition. It has a large print um, edition as well and this one is comes in the box and as you can see it's beautiful I love the way that it looked as well and I loved the um, design along the side I just think that adds to how nice it is it's not the hard cover it's a soft cover which I thought would be really nice as well it's comfortable to hold it has um, a ribbon for marking your pages so anyway in the front page here you've got this gorgeous image that you can colour in and then you've got a couple more actually I've got to fill this in she asked me to fill that in because it's obviously from me so I need to do that for her and then you've got these lovely images here now you get to the actual paper and you'll see it is not that thick you can actually just see my hand through it if you look there look you can actually see my fingers through so it's not thick at all then you've got your um, index and again you can colour in these here they've all hollowed out the words the front. then you've got another image here to colour in so although I said there's quite a lot of word text in the beginnings of sections uh, books of the bible etc they do have like an image that you can colour but again if you look you can go quite simple with it because of the shading on it you could colour that easily with one colour if you're not experienced or if you're more experienced you can start blending and stuff through I would definitely recommend you put something behind that when you colour it so this is the actual the name of the book of the bible and then down the side we've got an actual verse with a little bit of imagery as well to colour in which is really nice and you can see how beautiful that is and but you can also see look you can see through to the other side so that's why I'm saying to you definitely not markers on this and then you've got more images there so you've got plenty with gaps at the side as well so you can write any notes or you could do your own little bit of drawing you could do some stamping you could use stickers or whatever you want to do really um, I think the idea is that you have that time for reflecting on what you're reading um, so however that works for you you've got the space to do it but you can see there's plenty of images you've got this beautiful little ship down there but also the saying the saying the verse at the top there so you've got simple images to color but also you can do them more complicated if you want sorry the pages with the images kind of seem to stick together so you've got a lovely one there and they're very different if you notice the images um, you've got lots of different sort of styles to the fonts and 
um, like here at the beginning of your new chapter and obviously the end of this chapter you've got this lovely round the top here so that's really nice and effective so as I say there are some that um that I saw that are much more image based rather than this is much more font based and there are some that I saw that are really text font based even more than this you'd barely get any images at all so if you prefer to colour in um, even more text then have a look for those I'll try and find some of the others that I looked at and thought looked quite nice and I was interested in and I'll link this in um, on the blog post so if you're on YouTube and you're interested just go down to the below the video here and go onto the blog post there's a link there on that paragraph and it will take you there and I'll put some links on there to these Bibles for you so that you can go across and find them and then you've got somewhere here I think that's so cute, um, sort of just very simple, it reinforces I think some of the um, verses and, and kind of maybe makes you see them slightly different because the way that the um, verses set out here it gives different emphasis to different words and maybe that makes you look at it in a different way. Holy One. you can see there's a lot in here um, I don't know what it says let's see 400 design scripture verses so yeah there's lots in here I just thought I'd show you very quickly just the kind of thing that's there because I just thought that it might be something that you guys would be interested in because you're crafters and I'm assuming that there's some out of you out there that have faith as well so I thought that it might be something that you would like to see and maybe you haven't seen or heard of it's something new to me um isn't that beautiful and so I just thought I'd share with you so I hope that uh, you found it of interest I'd love to hear if you've heard of this before if you've seen it if you've got one what you're thinking of it if you've got something it doesn't have to be this specific one but if you've got something along these lines how how do you find it do you enjoy it um do you find it helpful um I would love to know so definitely leave a comment under the video to let me know all right well thank you so much for watching as i said earlier do make sure you hop on over to the blog post to take a look at those links otherwise thank you for watching and i will see you again soon bye for now